Greetings, Gothic lore fans. For the first time, you will be told a detailed history of the development of four friends of the Nameless Hero, as well as the long-expected biographies and character traits from each of them. So let's get started with this video. The idea of introducing the famous and beloved four friends of the Nameless Hero into the Gothic was proposed two years before the release of the game. The author who proposed this idea about Gorn, Milton, Lester and Raoul, later renamed Diego, was the well-known 2D designer Ralph Marcinczyk, who drew his inspiration from the comics Lucky Luke and Asterix. After being approved by Piranha Bytes and Phenomedia AG, his idea was immediately introduced into the structure of the main plot of the game. It was then that the employees who recently arrived from Phenomedia, together with the main writers of Piranha Bytes, Mike Hoke, Stefan Null, and Matthias Filler, decided to diversify the plot of the game by adding these key characters to it that would not only help the Nameless Hero during the time, but also with the possibility to come up with more storylines based on their involvement in other projects, such as comics and add-ons. Such a layout was justified, and as a result, after some time, it found its successful implementation since the written characters and biographies recorded in the design document of the Phoenix concept served as the basis not only for future game replicas of the characters in the game, but also for replicas of the comic book Gothic Der Comic from the publisher Paul and Paul, which tells the whole background of these heroes getting over the barrier, taking into account the information indicated in the document. After the publication of the comic book and the game itself, the management of Phenomedia decided to continue the development of this story about the four friends already in the add-on with the temporary name Gothic Sequel, which due to a number of unfortunate circumstances was thrown into the black production box. Despite the fact that the project itself was cancelled in the prototype phase, the design documents written for it biographies and character traits of these characters were further disclosed and supplemented with new information. It is these that we will introduce today. You should immediately make a small personal note. The general characteristics and biographies that will be read in this video are only canon for Gothic 1 and Gothic sequel, where they are considered outside the context of a published series of games because in the development of Gothic 2, many times the lore has been rewritten from scratch and some is discarded and not taken into account. All this was personally said by Mike Hogue, so when you operate with this information from the plot in any sources, keep this in mind. Four Friends the friendship of four friends is based on the fact that all of them learned that the camps and all their friction among themselves had to be put aside because they'd all want the same thing, which is to avoid getting involved in the problems of the camps and instead supporting the hero in his plan to destroy the barrier. Each of them does what they need to, each of them in their own way, even though it seems that the four them have nothing in common, they all want to retire one day and enjoy a carefree life. Now, on the evening of the invasion of demons, their actions will be focused on this problem and if the hero is the one who will again take the main burden on himself, they will support him through it. This is what makes their friendship different, mutual interest and respect. At the same time, they do not believe that it is necessary to emphasize for the thousandth time what wonderful friends they are. They are not exactly kind to each other, and the hero will be no exception just because he defeated the sleeper. 
It is clear that they can help him, but no one has seen him for a long time. So between them there is no kindness, no enthusiastic phrases like, yeah, let's do it together. Instead, they trade valuable information and references to a terrible situation. Diego, age 36, position head of the old camp. As an orphan, he grew up on the street and learned skills like street fighting and stealing. He spent at least half of his life behind bars. Last time he was there, he made friends with Lester, Gorn and Milton. He accompanied the nameless hero in Gothic and after the fall of the barrier, he remained in the old camp because he had neither relatives nor friends anywhere else. He has achieved power in the old camp while the country was at war. Goals? To control the old camp and be a rich and influential person, the light version of the Ore Baron, and to one day leave all of this behind and have a carefree life. Character Traits? He works for his own benefit, nevertheless, he is direct and ironic. Strengths? Leadership qualities can convince others and he is not easy to break. Weaknesses? Unknown. Quotes, I'm too old for this shit. If you don't follow the rules, you have to sleep with your back against the wall. You're here again, and the demons are here too. They seem to like you. Relationship with other characters, not written. Role in the game, teaches theft skills, is an important quester, and actively participates in the plot. What does Diego do in chapter 1? Trying to maintain order in the camp, Half of the people are extremely lazy, while the other half are weaklings. Orcs roam around the country, while the hero brings news about the demons. His best men are dead, and he needs to bring food and has plenty to do. Therefore, he first sends the hero to Milton. He hopes for his help, because he has no idea how to fight the demons. He's a boss and an entertainer. He has a lot of power, but also a lot of problems. People are constantly screwing up, and new problems arise every day. He is busy with all of that. Lester, age 25. Position, rune maker. Incomplete training with tailoring, a weaver, a cook, and a tanner. A slacker, a master of survival, and a ladies man. He was arrested because he was caught without pants with the mayor's wife. Behind bars, he became friends with Diego, Gorn and Milton. In the colony, he was hanging around the stoners, mostly because there he had the greatest freedom among fools and of course unlimited swamp wheat. Thanks to his talent, he was able to develop his paranormal skills without much difficulty. After the fall of the barrier, he unfortunately discovered that this simplicity was due not so much to his talent, but as to the influence of the barrier. Since then, his skills have been greatly used up. Lester is completely immersed in alchemy and is experimenting with everything that he thinks is suitable for improving his magic and paranormal skills. He hoped that with the found will, he would remain in the mountain fortress, but the king taught him better. Perhaps Tora was the better person who the king assigned the task of finding a suitable hiding place and drove him out of there. After all, she is a scout. P.S. Thora is a character cut out from the game as we know today. Goals To devote as much time as possible to his personal research in alchemy and if possible have time for one or more women. Character Traits Humorous Frivolous, spontaneous, and talented. Strengths. A master of survival, knows how to improvise well, and can stand up for himself. Weaknesses. Absent-minded, unpunctual, and a greedy man for women. Quotes. Did I miss something? Come on, what's already happened? Thora, the red slut? Wait, Thora. She made it clear to me that it was time for me to get out of the fortress to accommodate the king. I'd be more careful with her, if you know what I mean. Relationships with other characters Among other things, Lester respects Diego's experience. Quote, 
If Diego says so, then it's probably a good idea. Role in the game. Teacher of alchemy and paranormal skills. Takes an active part in the plot. What does Lester do in chapter 1? Relationship with the player. Lester, like all stoners, has lost almost all of his paranormal skills since the barrier fell. Therefore, he is eager to improvise his knowledge of alchemy and traditional magic at all costs. In addition, he incidentally built himself a laboratory in the house of fire mages. Since all the fire mages in the colony are dead, it is unlikely that they will mind if he dies into their records. So why should all of this knowledge be lying around here anyway? Lester is a very curious, frivolous and also a capable guy. He tries everything and anything to master the mystery of the fire magic without an experienced mentor. Quote, After all this magic is not so difficult to learn, is it? What can happen? He offers the hero his help in the part of magic and runes. Quote, Listen, if you take out the scrolls, I'll show you how to make runes. So if there's no scroll, there's no rune. What? Demons? Again? Oh shit, and I thought the orcs were the only problem. Yeah, it would be too damn easy. Milton, age 26. Position, fire mage. He grew up in a small but devoted family and have always wanted to achieve more even though he has already learned a lot. However, he was forcibly drafted into the army before he could finish his training. He deserted during a battle against the orcs, in which there was no chance of success, since his intelligence and selfishness were stronger than his sense of duty at the time, he was the only one who survived the battle without getting a scratch. Later he was arrested for stealing apples, declared a deserter and sent to prison. There he met Lester, Diego and Gorn and became friends with them. In the colony, he was noticed by the fire mages for his intelligence and talent for magic and he became the first among the prisoners who were accepted into their ranks. Shortly before the barrier fell, the rest of the fire mages in the colony were killed by the ore barons. When barrier was broken, he left the colony and joined the order of fire mages in the monastery of fire. Goals To become a master of magic Character traits, smart, dedicated to duty, purposeful and eager for knowledge. Strength, a strong magician, reliable and is respected as a fire magician. Weaknesses, diligent and selfish. Sometimes he considers his career more important than the problems of his friends. Quotes, you're not serious, are you? Role in the game takes an active part in the plot. In the mountain fortress, he stands up for the hero, just like Thora. He is the link between the arrogant fire mages and the hero. Gorn, age 29, position, mercenary. He grew up in a small village and is not educated. Neither is he too smart, but at the age of 14, he was so strong that he broke his stepfather's jaw when he was beating his mother. Already at the age of 15, he arrived at the mobilization point, received his armor and joined the royal army. There he mastered the military craft and for several years he fought against the orcs. Despite this, he was never promoted because he often neglected subordination and did not get along with his superiors. After another fight in a tavern, being pretty drunk, he ran into a sergeant, accidentally broke his neck with one blow and caused serious injuries to three of his people. The very next day, he met Lester, Milton and Diego in prison. In the colony, he joined the new camp because there were no superiors. After the barrier fell, he had to kill his brothers, yet he does not remember anything about the events of that night. Since then, he has been filled with bitterness. Goals Kill as many demons as he can. Character traits Down to earth, honest, lacking manners and easily aroused. Strengths Sturdy in battle, 
100% trustworthy and an excellent fighter. Weaknesses Rude and not diplomatic, quick tempered, and he's not educated as he nor can read or write. He hates orcs and he hates submission even more. Quote I know what to do myself. The main thing is that there will be a good fight. Role in the game Teaches combat skills, is a quest giver, and actively participates in the plot. One man army, tough to take out. When it comes to fighting, he's always there. One of the most important people in the new camp. His words have weight as Lee listens to him. Quote, I'll take a couple of guys, then we'll go there, we'll find them, and we'll kill every last one of them. And this is where our video ends. All the content provided in this video was made by the Alpha Researcher. Thank you so much for your attention and see you in the next video.